can using different brands of oil in your vehicle hurt your engine? The short answer is no, but the long answer is maybe. What is going on today, guys? My name's Alex, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be focusing on the topic of oil. Um, now, me personally, this is the brand I use. I use Mobileye One in my truck for really no particular reason, other than I know it's um, somewhat of a higher quality synthetic oil um, on the market. And because I know this oil tends to go on sale pretty frequently, um, at Canadian Tire up here in Canada. So that's what I chose. I've run this in this truck since I bought it brand new and I plan on sticking with it for the foreseeable future. I also run a Mobile One uh, filter for the most part. Um, they do tend to get a little expensive so from time to time I have switched that up but I try to stick with the same oil and the same oil filter. Now the reason being is because let's say an oil like Mobile One. So they will have their standard kind of base synthetic oil. And what they'll do is they will add different types of additives or um, patent formulas or a patented formula of additives. And what this formula of additives can do is it can help the longevity of the oil, can help the performance of the oil um, and so forth. So an example of these additives would be like rust inhibitors, antioxidants, um, viscosity index improvers, um, pressure additives, uh, friction modifiers, anti-foaming agents, anti-aeration agents. So usually each brand of oil kind of has their own formulated or patented, um, you know, additive package to their base oil. And what happens when you mix those, you can potentially, um, you know, have those additives clash. They may not mix um, as well as you would hope and it can lower the performance of the oil um, and potentially reduce the life of the oil. Now, is that gonna be fatal for your engine? Absolutely not. I mean, if you're in a pinch and need to use a different brand of oil, no big deal. It's not gonna make or break the engine, but what it could possibly do is just slightly lower the performance of the oil, or it could do nothing. But that is kind of what we're talking about when we change brands of oil. What the problem is is those additives may not mix properly and they may clash and just result in a lower performing oil. But in terms of engine protection and engine health, is it really gonna impact that? Probably not. So to wrap that up, it is kind of a little bit of a myth that you shouldn't change oil brands. At the end of the day, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference. But if you really wanna try and maximize your performance and your engine protection, I would really try and stick with a brand you trust. Next off is mixing conventional non-synthetic oil with synthetic oil. Is that safe? Absolutely. Most, if not all synthetic oil manufacturers make the synthetic oil to be able to run with conventional non-synthetic oil pretty seamlessly. Um, as long as it has the um, APA, or sorry, API uh, stamp right there, you should be good to mix kind of any oil in general if it's non-synthetic or synthetic. That's basically what semi-synthetic is. It's just mixed synthetic and, and non-synthetic conventional oil. One note about semi-synthetic, I do tend to think it's a little bit of a ripoff uh, because unless they actually tell you the percentage of synthetic oil in the formula, like they could have 5% synthetic oil and 95% non-synthetic oil and they could sell it as semi-synthetic for a premium price when really you're just buying normal bulk oil. So just watch out for that if you do tend to purchase semi-synthetic oil. If I were you, I would either just stick with a lower price conventional oil or up your budget and buy the actual synthetic oil. Now mixing different weights of engine oil could get you in a little bit more trouble than just simply mixing brands of oil. Each engine manufacturer tends to spend millions of dollars on research and development on their engine and they give you a specific oil viscosity to run because that is gonna make that engine run at its best and it's gonna keep that engine running longest. So I really recommend you guys stick with the manufacturer's recommendation of the weight of oil to put in your engine. To take my truck, for example, it has the 5.7 Hemi liter engine and they recommend putting uh, 5W20 in it. And as I've spoken in the past about this, I would not wanna put thicker oil into this engine um, due to the hydraulic lifters. Uh, when there's thicker oil going to the hydro hydraulic lifters, 
the lash clearance between um, the cam roller and the rest of the valve train tends to be too much, which can then lead to possibly the Hemi tick, which I'm sure most of you guys have heard of. Um, these Hemis are notorious for lifter failures or the Hemi tick. Um, so each manufacturer has a reason for putting the specific weight of oil or the viscosity of oil that you should use in your engine. So the first number is what the oil viscosity would act like in the cold. And the second number is what the oil viscosity would act like in a warmer temperature. So most oils, when you see two numbers, it's, it's a multi-grade oil. Even though I said I would really not recommend mixing oil weights, if you're in a pinch and you mess up, let's say you drop your oil on the ground and you're about to fill it up and you realize you bought the wrong oil, it's the wrong weight of oil. Well, as long as it's not wildly off and not wildly thick or crazy thin oil, you should be okay. It's not gonna absolutely blow your engine up, but I would make sure the next oil change you have, you put the right weight in your engine. Now there is exceptions with that. If you are in an extremely cold climate, I would really recommend that you put the right weight oil in there because it could be the difference between your truck starting and not starting. If you have too thick of an oil, the truck might not start. It will not blow your engine up if you put the wrong weight of oil in it or if you mix the wrong weight of oil in there, it's not going to destroy the engine. Um, over the long run, yes, it may not be beneficial to run the wrong weight oil in your engine. Because lastly, oil additives or snake oil is what uh, some people like to refer to it as <clears throat> because it snakes you of your money because most of the time it's just an expensive ripoff. Um, so I'll, t I'll tell you a little story about that. So when I was in my first year apprenticeship, um, I went to a school called Fancha College in London, Ontario, and they had a brand new facility. And I think they had 12 or the, the ability to have 12 engines in an engine room, all 12 on like these dynos. Um, and you could, you know, electronically control them all. So what happened is uh, actually the Canadian military uh, did a little experiment. So they put um, 12 of their engines in that room and ran them for like 24 seven for days and days and days. And what they wanted to know is if they added um, some of this snake oil or oil additives, if it would actually improve the efficiency of the engine to a point where it would actually save them money. So the Canadian military did this and they wanted to know if they could, you know, add some kind of additive, maybe like a friction modifier or something or a viscosity um, index modifier to see if it would maybe make the engine maybe one, 2% more efficient. Um, because when you're up north in the cold, those engines run 24 seven. So if they could somehow make those engines let's say one, two, maybe 3% more fuel efficient, it would save the Canadian government thousands, maybe millions of dollars in fuel. So they ran these experiments in this engine lab and it turned out that everything they tried, and I'm not sure what they tried, I'm, I'm hearing the second hand from an instructor, um, but it turned out that everything they tried didn't really show any efficiency improvement whatsoever. Now, it's not to say that some of these um, oil modifiers or snake oils don't work, but that's as pretty much as scientific as it's going to get. And if the K military running those, you know, big diesel engines hours and hours and hours and didn't see any improvements whatsoever with different kinds of snake oil, I think it kind of gives you a good picture that most of these are kind of just a waste of money. That being said, I'll tell you another story. When I was working at my first shop, we had certain customers that we knew we would put um, Lucas oil uh, modifier in because those engines were kind of at their last legs and the Lucas oil modifier may have extended their engine life a little bit. If your engine is somewhat new, maybe let's say under 150,000 kilometers, you really don't need to be spending money on um, oil additives. It's not gonna help. Like I said, these guys, Mobile One, whoever, um, they spend millions of dollars on R&D from their own engineers and put their own modifiers in here, additives in here, to make this oil as efficient and to keep your engine performing at its peak. So just be careful when you see all those nice shiny bottles that claim that they uh, make your engine run better, uh, protect your engine more. It tends to be kind of just a myth. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video today. Hopefully that puts to bed some myths about oil and using different brands of oil. Yeah, it may not be the best choice if you wanna really have your engine running at its peak performance, but at the end of the day, if you do use different brands of oil, 
it's really not going to matter that much. Now, one thing I would be more concerned about is your weight of oil or the viscosity of oil that you used. I would highly recommend you just use what the manufacturer recommends. And then lastly, snake oil or um, all those shiny bottles in the store that tend to claim that it's going to make your engine run better, stronger, faster, more horsepower. <sighs> they tend to be lying to you. It tends to be a waste of money. Um, but who am I? You guys are your own person. You can make your own decisions. This is just my opinion. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and maybe even think about subscribing. We'd love to have you on board. Um, got some cool stuff happening at the end of the month. Got a little adventure planned for uh, this old girl. So maybe stick around. That would be awesome. And we will see you on the next freaking video.